Hey Josh! What? Guess what? What? Mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant well, well, cause you did. Mm, what you say? Mm, that it's all for the <sighs> best, cause it is. And this is our review of Safe. I can explain. The synopsis of Safe. In this bullet fast thriller, Jason Statham plays an ex cop and protects the life of a little girl who has a lot of secrets. Hey, Josh! What do you think of this movie? Action packed. <laughs> Action packed. Jason Statham. Same old, same old. Yeah. That's how I can sell this movie. Ex-cop, anger management issues, and or dirty past, and trying to redeem himself with a good deed. So there you go, guys. It's pretty much the same old, same old Jason Statham, and I'm gonna actually have to say that it was actually a little more boring. I, I think this movie would have been better if he didn't give so much of a crap. It's weird, though, because, like, this girl, he just seen on the train, and he's like, I'm gonna save her. Let's do it, and follow this all the way through, and yeah. this movie is the most confusing movie. You don't know who's on what side, because everybody's making a deal with each other. All we know is that this girl has numbers that opens up a safe, and the cops want it, the, the Russians Russian want mafia it, wants it, and the Chinese mafia want it. And they're all fighting to figure out the safe numbers for and this girl. And then halfway through, the Russians stop, probably because Jason kills everybody. Right. And suddenly it's the cops who stop because Jason kills everybody. <laughs> and then the Asian government, who gets killed by the government There's of America. There's so much double-crossing that just is confusing. I mean, do, is New York really like this? <laughs> yes, Josh. Exactly. How, like how do you do anything get done? The acting was... Jason it's, Statham is It's an action <laughs> movie. He plays the same character, the same role, the same past, and the same jobs every time. And he's always pissed off all the time. I bet you he, in real life he's like the happiest guy. Probably. But it, would it really make sense if he was like all jolly in doing this? He's like smiling, like he's killing like, people with knives. Ah! Yeah! And everybody's so happy and joyous. I don't think that would work. I guess no, it's good that he's pissed no. off. Yeah. But anyway... Improvements, story. I always have a problem with time because you can't tell how much time has passed. No, not at all. In this movie, it's like, it looks like it's been two days. Yeah, but they seem to span it to like it's been months and months. Yeah. And it just, it doesn't work out at all. It's like, suddenly he's here. Now he's at a restaurant killing Russians. Now he's at a hotel killing Asians. <laughs> now he's back at the governments that are taking out the government leader. And now he's on, like, a construction site killing his arch nemesis who we met for a whole five minutes I'm gonna before be... little Asian girl blew his brains out. <laughs> I just ruined the whole thing for you. I blinked out some of the scenes where I'm just like, huh? There's so much gunfire, and I'm cool with action movies, Yeah. but there was a point where there's just so much gunfire, you just kind of blink out. And you that's forget what who's happened. alive and who's dead. Right. The camera st angles were, like, nuts in this well, movie, too. a super action-packed bullet... Yeah. Crazy shooting thriller. Yeah. That's what you Thriller. Got. Right. It wasn't really a thriller because we all knew Jason Statham was going to win. Right. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's the sum of it. I mean, if you want to watch an action movie, then go if, watch yeah. something else, actually, I mean, to be honest with you. You could watch this or Blitz or Transporter 1, 2, 3, 4, or Crank 1, Crank 2. <laughs> the Expendables he's into where he plays right. an anchor management guy but kills people with knives instead. You can pick any of those. Please do, actually. I wouldn't, I don't know. I, just, I wasn't a big fan of this movie. Either. Not at all. I'm going to give it just a three out of five. I'm going to give it a two, just because I didn't like it that much. I just, man, it was what it was. We'll see you next time when we take a look at Victim. Victim. If you've seen this movie, please click below. Let us know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And we'll see you probably next time on Netflix. What you say? That probably really hurt him. Yeah, I actually did. <laughs>